I did the first one with it the wrong way around, so let's try this again. As you can see, I got pretty overheated today and I stuck my head in a faucet. I need a haircut, <laughs> so I'm going to do that tonight too. I did make a really big mess. It's in frame, but everything over there is usually so green you might not be able to tell. I made another really, really big pile. Of hedge clippings logs in some cases it's like the circumference on that is probably like five inches on that one um, so yeah I cut right along here I haven't been able to reach the whole way up with the long pruners I might be able to uh, but I just kind of slowed down at a certain point I was getting way too heated uh, but from over here, it's a really nice effect. Look at how much space I gained. The dense shade was all the way to here. So the hedge itself had come out another four or five feet. So I've gained quite a bit, quite a bit of space here by doing that. Now that is, let's see, so if we go straight up and profile, there's definitely some more I need to do. I did also end up, gosh, I hope I don't screw this video up, um, etching out some of this cherry tree, which widens the growth space quite a bit because the cherry branches were coming out almost all the way to the path, which you can't tell, but is right up the middle. I probably should get out some tomato cages and make sure that I get to keep my path here at some point. But uh, that's really a big difference of uh, keeping, keeping the sunny areas. The only one of the hazelnuts that lived is that one which is a bummer it would be nice to have them all along here but i do think that the the better plant for this situational location here is going to be uh, saskatoons perhaps a taller variety than what i currently have because they fruit very very well in the shade I want to see if some of them can seed maybe over the winter. And the grasses are all going to seed this time of year. It's very annoying. So, yeah. Very, very happy with this. Let's turn around and just see. I mean, just how much more space I gained. And didn't really lose any privacy in the making of it either. Hardly, anyway. There might be another two foot of visual space there that I would prefer to have things planted for. I didn't get anything much more done in the front, but we can go take a look. Got some things watered. But, um, so I do want to add some more dirt to the edges. You see how I have this ramped up here? I like to do that around the outside edge, because the whole way around, because it stops these from tilting over when you're walking on them. And them tilting over when you're walking on them can be a definite ankle endangerment kind of moment. So, um, I want to bring them up to that level and then plant them in with these violets. So I put the violets in some water since I didn't get around to adding more dirt around. Um, starting to pull this back. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do right here. Um, you can see now that it's getting a little dim 
how nice this walkway is going to be and how much more space for pulling in my electric bike I've got. So that's very nice. I just kind of wish that porch door was hinged the other way around because it opens up in this way so it blocks the porch off. So instead of being able to open the door and go right in, I have to go onto the porch, turn around, and come back. It's a really old hinge type, so it's not like I could just turn it around either. It's a bummer. I'm a bit annoyed by that, but alas. So, yeah, I feel like I, I made a lot of progress today. A lot of it was just weeding. Cutting the hedge. Yeah, you can see a bit more of the house that way. Uh, my friend coming in getting the tumbler and a lot of the scrap metal. So soon I very well may be able to clear off that table and actually have a less horrible looking porch. The bird is putting up with the location. aren't ya? She's got a nest and too many nights in a row. If I come home late at night, she fly off and hit her head off the ceiling about 20 times. That happened a few times and she scared me so bad. Because you can see how close she got to be to her. I mean, like, we're two feet apart. I could probably sit right next to you and you'd probably just sit there. So you're real close before she flaps off and it's it's pretty terrifying. So I'm really glad that um, I'm going to continue to discourage her from continuing to have a nest there next time. And hopefully she'll successfully raise up her young anyway. If not, I might have to put her somewhere else again. But uh, yeah, morning doves. I don't like them. sun color is starting to change. Let me see. Look, I can just stand up right here. And then if I do get close enough, and I don't want to startle her, but if I do get close enough, she's all feathers and squawking and... But you're like right up on top of her by the time she does. So... That's pretty. Those are some neat clouds. And I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like... That hillside's starting to catch a tiny bit of fall color already. I did notice that um, throughout the city, there are several places where I wouldn't have expected that. Even in July, I saw some maples that were just vibrant orange and already turning their fall colors. So, and it was a hot, hot summer, so I don't know why that was. But, uh,. It does seem to be happening already. It's September 3rd, Labor Day, 2018. And I hope you had a nice long weekend and that uh, things are going well. Okay, bye.